even go live with our own crew? Yo! What's up, you guys? Welcome to the stream! Hunter of Peace, Mr. Josh, and Vash! Welcome! You guys, good to see you guys here. Glad you guys are with us. What is up? Hope you guys are good, doing good. We're gonna start. It's Golly Jolly Rogers! What's up? Yeah, just random Pandora music. That was the um the music I had set up for my Pandora. What's up? And welcome. Let's um get going. Triple J! Yes it is Mega Man back. I haven't played a Mega Man game in forever. So yeah. Um, I know I still need to beat Mega Man 3 at some point. Some point in the future. But what's up, you guys? You know what Monster Hunter 4? You do? Yeah, you should totally get Monster Hunter. That game sounds fun. Anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys like this game. I loved Mega Man X1, X2, X3. I really liked all the Mega Man X games up to this one. Uh, the first three were all on Super Nintendo, and then this is where it starts out for regular PlayStation. What's up, Cody L? Hang on, you guys. Someone's calling me. Oh, well. I'll call him back later. You love Mega Man 4? MH for you? I don't know what that means. But welcome, Cody Elves. Welcome, Hunter of Peace, Triple J, Jolly Rogers, and Vash. What is up, you guys? We're gonna start on the left. It looks like a rock is about to land. Really? Anyway, I guess we gotta pick a character. Does it matter who I pick? Is there a better or worse character? Are you stuck with them for the whole game? Sorry, 1998. What's up? And welcome, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, he really wants to get that game. I guess we can play as Zero. That seems cool. Hopefully, he's better and not worse. Um, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Glad you guys are with us. We're playing this Mega Man game that has anime-esque cutscene, so we'll, we'll see what happens. It's going good, Triple J. Thank you for asking. I guess this is the storyline. But we'll see what happens. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Awesome! Gotta go to the night shift soon. Oh, really? Dang. Just dropping in. Got it. Pretty neat, but it's fun. Cool! Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. That sounds awesome. <laughs> playing a Mega Man game. Yeah, playing a Mega Man game. Indeed. Without Mega Man. <laughs> exactly. It is awesome. Yeah, I played the Wii one. The Wii one was really cool. Um, what was it? Monster Hunter 3 Try, I think it was? Alright, so here's where our game starts, I guess. This is me! Maverick, blah blah blah. Something occupied. This looks ferocious. Reptile Force, okay. 
Yeah, the Wii one was sweet. I've, um, I didn't play it that much, but I had a friend who played it a lot. And there's some co-op. The co-op was pretty simplistic. I, so I didn't really play it that much, just like a couple minutes of the co-op. People said that there's a lot of grinding and stuff. I really like the idea of a game that really focuses on boss fights, though. Like, that sounds really sweet. We can do it. Oh, a fight for 3DS game. Yeah, definitely. You should totally check it out, Jolly. Hope you've been doing well, Jolly. Have you gotten any really sweet 3DS games? Because I, I literally only have two games for my, for my uh, 3DS. I have... Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. and that's it. The skill that makes you better. Oh, really? So if you're really good, then you don't have to do a bunch of grinding and stuff? Yeah, that's probably how it should be. People are like, oh man, I gotta do all this grinding. But doesn't grinding just mean you're not very good at the game? I thought that's the whole like reason why grinding exists. Either that, or I think grinding might exist. Potentially, because someone who has no idea what they're doing, like me, would spend hours and hours just wandering around, killing random stuff. And then it would balance out for people who know exactly what they're doing in terms of difficulty. Do I just have to break this down? Okay, cool. I think you can play indefinitely. I don't know if a game that you can play indefinitely is a good thing necessarily. People like beating games. Especially people who like 100% games. They're like, I love Metal Man Mega Man Battle Network is a good example. Where like, beating one of those games is not that big of a task. But 100%ing it, no matter how much you love it, is completely insane. I guess maybe that's true of all RPGs. 100%ing them is just completely insane. RNG, drops to make the armor. Dang, that sucks. RNG ruins games! It sucks so much. This doesn't look good to you. That Maverick took out the power. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground! Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have something to do. It's too late to escape. I must escape now. What's up, Sevy? Welcome to the stream, Sevy. Good to see you here, dude. Yeah, the beard is coming back. It is coming back. Wait, did change the title? I did change the title, didn't I? Pretty sure I changed it like four times. Well, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what the title is, as long as the game is correct. Um, you can play online to continue. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Sevy! Yes, Sevy! It is the Sevy! And he is here with us. She's being sad. Well, that's not a malfunction, Jolly. She is always sassy. That is just her attitude. And we've learned to, to, to adapt. The carnage is horrible. Those Mavericks will pay for this! Okay. Well, let's uh, get going. Jeez. Let's get going. We've got a long way to go. So I was really, really, really thinking, is anyone a fan of Prince of Persia? I was really thinking about playing that, or this game, but this game's shorter, and if two games are the same length and I'm, I'm equally indecisive about both of them, I'm going to pick the shorter one. We're still working on Skyward Sword, but I'm not going to play it, like, every day, just because that game's so long. You love Spirit Away? Oh my gosh, Spirit Away is awesome! Yeah, dude, you totally have to watch all the Ghibli movies. Princess Monoki is really good. Um, Kiki's Delivery Service is okay, but it's kind of effeminate. You fixed it. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Thanks for fixing the title. Oh, no. We have to get out of here? Wait a minute. The Hell's Movie Castle. Yes! It's a really good game. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I was definitely, definitely thinking about checking it out. Okay, well, let's get going. Yeah, I, I really want to play it. Um, is one of your favorite movies ever? Yeah, I love Howl's Moving Castle because Howl is so cool. There's like some trait, something that Leonardo DiCaprio and and um, Johnny Depp and the guy from Howl's Moving Castle all have in common. They're like, maybe it's just extreme confidence and everything they do just working out really well. But all three of those characters are really, really hardcore and really cool. And like, and people are like, oh man, the main guy in Howl's Moving Castle, he's such a jerk. 
No longer allowed. I, I have all the opinions. Oh, I am so full of opinions. Zero. You come to save me? Yes. Hang on. A huge maverick has appeared. And stay here. I'll handle it. Lies. I'm only spreading lies about one of them. Only one. And if you start watching all the other ones, then you'll probably watch that one anyway. Because Kiki's delivery service is pretty famous. I haven't seen it. Must have been at least 10 years. Really? I didn't even know it's been out 10 years. That's crazy. Full of something. <laughs> What's full of what? Oh, geez. Here's a massive dragon. Let's deal with this guy. My gosh! Okay. Let's take this guy out. Is this our first boss? This is a pretty easy start to the game. I like having a sword. That's a nice change up. You have the collection. Awesome! Well, that is exciting. I really want to watch all the Ghibli movies, and I'm slowly working on it. It seemed like those four so far. Oh, jeez. There we go. Beat the boss on the first try. Wait, why did Splitbot not work? What is wrong with Splitbot? Either your credential. What is going on with them? Zero. Coffee Lord! What's up, Coffee Lord? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Glad you're with us. Glad you're here today, Coffee Lord. Hello! This game was so awesome when you got to the first part. Awesome. Your little sister. Hope she's okay. Yeah, I hope so too. She's fun. I just rescued her. Awesome. Well, thanks. I five indeed. Totoro. Oh yeah, my neighbor Totoro. I've seen that one. That one's awesome. Colonel, I have a question for you. I would say definitely watch Howl's Moving Castle first. That one's the best one. No, Princess Mononoke is the best one. Definitely. We weren't involved in an attack. They were suspicious. What? Disarm and come with me to the HQ. I'm afraid I can't. Soldiers never drop their weapons. Okay. Lots of story that I don't pay attention to. Get out of here. Ponyo? Yes, Ponyo? No, Ponyo. Totoro. Yes, my neighbor Totoro. I like Totoro. Save. Exes choose. Done. Done. The Tall Retro Gamer! What is up, dude? Welcome to the stream, Tall Retro Gamer. And good to see you here. Glad you're with us today. Hope you're doing well. Voting Spirited Away. Yeah, I think Spirited Away is probably the most famous. The more story. Yeah, Zero was nuts. Nor rebellion against our human this is pretty leaders. wild. This is about our Old animation and everything. It's we great. Must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Reploid Force. Doing better. Well, I think that's good. You need to watch these in. Yeah, dude, definitely. We have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage what and pride. What is this? Without fear, for we are the Rebel Force, the most powerful army in history. Yeah! Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna take these guys down. This is really neat. It's like hand-drawn animation or something. You heard they were good. Yeah, definitely. I'm not really one to watch much anime movies, but I've started to recently. Chipotle. Awesome. Chipotle sounds cool. Up castle in the sky. Nice. You meant eat. <laughs> okay. You need to eat, not watch Chipotle. Got it. Watching Chipotle might be a little odd. Okay. Called Hayoka. Was it any good, Coffee Lord? That's the important thing. I have trouble finding new animes. Do you guys just, like, watch reviews of animes or watch them review a series of animes or, like, what do you do? Infiltrate enemy jungle. Dessert. Something. Technology. Cyber bug. Oh cool, they're giving me 
reptile force has taken off. Rescue the air blast. Oh, cool. So this is my four missions. Oh, eight. It's really good. Gotta love the Mega Man! Yeah, heck yeah, the biggest spice! You are absolutely right. Gotta love the Mega Man indeed, because it is great. Oh, um, pursue and chase. Alright. The abandoned lab is our operation. Investigate and destroy the lab. The military train is moving supplies. Cut off reptile forces supply route. Wow, this is cool! The story is really well worked into that. And they give you some times. Yeah, I know. I know you can just read about it, but it's like... When I go on the same... Maybe I should just find new anime websites. Because it's like I keep seeing the same ones listed over and over and over again. It's like, oh, I want to find the best ones. And then, I don't know. It's just tricky sometimes. Not too much of an anime guy. Started watching FMB. Oh, cool! Brotherhood, awesome. Yeah, people were when I started watching Full Metal Alchemist. People were like, "Well, do you start watching the regular one or Brotherhood?" And I'm like, I, "I don't know." It was okay. There's one episode of Full Metal Alchemist, the original, that like everyone needs to see. I forget which episode it is, but it's like truly horrifying. If you like that, you might like Soul Eater. That one's really good. It's really good, and it looks good. Awesome. Yeah, my favorite animes are like, wow, there's rainbows in the background or everything. How beautiful. Jeez, let's cut this down. I really like having a sword. That's pretty sweet. So I guess Mega Man has a blaster. But the sword probably does more damage, right? I'm guessing. Well, let's go cut this guy down, this little squid man. Jeez. Oh, man, I'm taking damage constantly. Oh, well, that's okay. It's a Mega Man X game, so that means, wait, I should have, yes, I do have it, the dash. There we go, yes. We've got fancy moves go, okay, we're dead. Rip, so, to I don't know who that is, but that sounds sad. You will be missed indeed. Yeah, that's a shame. Rex, sword this guy up. Let's cut this guy down. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Okay, continue. There we go. Okay. Go! <laughs> he doesn't even say go, he just says ready. Okay, whatever. He's a president. Oh, really? No way. Oh, well, that's a shame. I really like, when I was a kid, I always looked up to Shigeru Mayo, me too. M Miyamoto. That's what it, that, that tour was. That guy was awesome. I don't know if he's still around. Oh, dang it. There we go. Good, good, good. Rip. Yeah, rip indeed. That's a shame. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. We're getting places. Yes! No! No! Okay, sweet. We got one of those pellets. I wonder if there's money in this game. I know in Mega Man, not X7, there was money. Oh, sweet. That Maybe it was health or ammo. I don't know! <laughs> there's probably a ton of secret upgrades. So keep your eyes peeled, you guys, for secret upgrades. 55. Really? Wow, he died really young then. That's a shame. It sucks. I've heard the people work, like, ridiculously hard in Japan. I don't know, Japan's so interesting, because we get, like, watching a ton of anime, if you do, like I do, then you get a lot of very specific ideas of what living in Japan would be like. And then I've talked to people who actually live in Japan, and they're like, no, that's not what it's like at all. Oh, jeez, no! What's up, Stu? Welcome to the stream, Stu. Good to see you here, Stu. Glad you're with us today, man. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Does it matter? What influence does the president of Nintendo have? Because I figure it's mostly like... I don't know, you guys. At the end of the day, what difference does it make? I don't really watch conferences or anything. 
wrecked. I mean, it, it's really sad that he's dead, but... Oh, jeez. There we go. Ori in the... No, I have not! I have not played Ori in the Blind Fly. Mayamutu. Or Gine Tanada. Is it a good game? Should I check it out? There we go. I really like Mega Man X games. Oh my gosh! There we go. We're good, we're good. Oh, really? Tough as nails. Dang. Oh, that's sad. That's really unfortunate. Alright, let's cut this guy up. I guess we... I'm not sure if we have lives or not in this game. Jeez, everything's dealing damage to me. That's really sad. Okay, we're getting places. It's dang good. Okay, sweet. I'll, I can check it out. I know there are... I might actually already own it. Probably not, but... In a lot of cases, there have been so many times where it's like, Oh, that game's really cool. I should buy it. And then I, like, go to buy it on Steam. It's like, oh... You already own this game! Just from buying Humble Bundles and stuff, like, you end up with so many games, and then you forget how many you actually end up, like, having. Just from having not enough time to play them all? Is this gonna kill me? Oh, thank goodness. I was really afraid I was gonna die there. Jeez, that's a lot of bees! Okay, there we go. We took that thing down. Really? Shigeru Miyamoto would be king of Nintendo? That would be wild. Wrecked. Alright, sweet. Take the bees down. Alright, we're through the beehive. We're making progress. We are getting places, which is good. Okay, down we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yay! Ah, oh, dang it! Quit clinging on to me, you. No, guys, 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 guys! One at a time. Be reasonable. There we go. You play hard. You're. Oh, really? It can't. That's a shame, Stu. Um, I have a lot of old games. I have like Brawlhalla. I have a lot of games that I I bought and then I never like played or I started playing it. A lot of games like I play for like an hour and then I forget. To come back to them and to actually finish them or it's like this game was pretty fun like that's what happened with Mass Effect I got I played Mass Effect for like an hour I got stuck what was dealing damage to me I got stuck in Mass Effect because I didn't know what to do and then I never looked up a guide and then I just forgot about it and then it never came back to the game like someone should do a psychological study on like what causes you to come back to a game because there are a lot of times where I think like, oh, this game's really fun. I should really play this game. Or even a game I already own and I want to go back and play it and then I just never do. It's like I need to... It's almost like a chore. It's like, okay, I really, really, really want to go back and play like Golden Knight, for example. But I've felt like that for like years and I still haven't gone back and played it in a long time. Oh, jeez, there we go. Correct. There we go, sweet! And welcome again Josh and Coffee Lord. I'm really glad to see you guys because we're, we're all from uh, Foxy's old stream. It's really great to have a li nice little reunion. Uh, what is it? Do you? You don't? Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Warning, warning, boss fight? <laughs> this is really a boss fight? Was it that easy to get to the boss? How easy is this game? Spider. Ah, oh, Zero. Wait, his name is Spider? I've been expecting you. Oh wait, we gotta talk in a spider voice. <laughs> you work for Reptile Force? Yes, I'll lead a renegade unit now. There's still time. Call off the cube. No, I know where my loyalties lie. That's my best spider voice. Do you have Smash? I have Smash. I have Smash for the 3DS. How do you guys like it? Now that it's been a while, I think it's been like a year since it's come out actually. Or it's actually getting pretty close at least. I think it came out last November. 
Smash came out a while ago. Jeez, Louise, think. Dang it. Mission failed. Does that mean I ran out of lives? Oh man, so that means I have to start all the way back. Zelda Fan 30! What is up, Zelda Fan 30? Good to see you here, dude. Glad you're with us today. Oh man, let's get out of here. My goodness. Okay, sweet. Jeez! Okay, sweet. Yeah. You're sad. Why are you sad? What is wrong? What is going on in the life of Zelda Fan 30? Okay, let's cut these guys up. I really need to heal up because it looks like I have two lives. And I keep wasting my life. Fire emblem. Fates. Sweet. That sounds cool. Wrecked. There we go. We're just we're playing the the role of the exterminator today. Because if there are bees out there, I'm going to take them down personally. Correct. Awesome. No! There we go. Get a PS4, play all the games. Oh, sweet! Yeah, that would be cool. I, I still want to pick up a PS3 at some point. And a Wii U. They're all on my to buy list. I know I heard I heard it's really sad I didn't know who he was but we're having a moment of silence for him how do we beat these guys is there like a secret way through we really need more health are there secret combos or something I have the triple slash all right let's get away from this these things are like so deadly secretly deadly okay Gosh, dang it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, sweet. We got a full heal. That's exactly what we needed. So we can keep our two lives and get through this level. What are we getting? And how do we deal with these monsters? It's like no matter how much I hit them, they don't go away forever. They just, <laughs> I just have to tank the damage in the end. Alright, so is this where the boss is? I think it is. I think we reached the boss. Warning! Warning! Alright, enough warnings. I'm ready to take him on. Let's go! Hello, Spite there. How are you doing, buddy? Alright, see you later, Josh! Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. It is always good to see you around. Wrecked. There we go. No! Please, please! Oh my gosh, how do we... Dream Eaters! What's up, Dream Eaters? How are you doing, dude? Kill it! Kill this bird! Take it down! That's what we're working on. That is all, all part of the plan today. We're gonna wreck the spider. Well, we're gonna try. Just now the spider wrecked me. I don't have any upgrades or anything. Which is lame. But, whatever. We're trying to take out the spider. But, why would we want to kill spiders though? Because spiders kill all the other insects out there. And that's good because most people don't like insects. Okay, we gotta form a plan. Jeez. Yeah. There we go. No, let me go, please! Oh, come on, Bio Balls! What is up, man? Welcome to the. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the stream, Bio Balls. This guy is hardcore, but bosses are usually about pattern recognition, so that's all we really gotta notice. Kill the mosquitoes. Oh no, mosquitoes! The actual worst! What could be worse than a mosquito? Two mosquitoes! That's definitely worse. Alright. Here we go. Oh, come on! <laughs> Let me out!
Yes, we're dodging. All right, sweet. We got to bait out his attack. But I want to get my damage in so badly. Three, wait, giant ones? Since when are we dealing with giant mosquitoes? My gosh, this guy is tough. We might have to try a different level. There we go. Yo, Tasso! What is up, man? Welcome to the stream, Mr. Tasso. Oh, my gosh. You're exhausted. Spider mosquitoes. What a combination. That sounds like some horrible lab experiment gone wrong. Exhausted from a tough day of baseball training. Well, that sounds pretty intense, Tasso. You guys. Redness! What is up? Never cyber. <laughs> Very funny, Rabbit. He lives in cyberspace and he wants to destroy the network system. Cyber Peacock! What's up, Ratmus? Dude, I know nothing. Literally, negative things about this game. So, if anyone knows what to do, let me know. Hurry up. Wait, why am I hurrying? Oh, jeez. Let me free! Enough of these little magic stars. He doesn't have a secret base. Pretty sure everyone has a secret base. Like, what good are you without a secret base? Trolls like crazy? Dang. Why does he keep telling me to hurry up? Is it dealing damage to me somehow? I don't... A rank. I guess that's good. I don't understand this world. Now I have to hurry up again. Is it gonna be like, oh, you're not good enough to reach the boss? Try again, or something like that. That's what I would imagine. S rank for the good items. Oh, really? Gotcha. Okay. Neat. That's kind of cool. Waiting to get to X6. Yeah! Everyone's waiting for X6. I think I like the X games a lot better than Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. People say Mega Man 3 and 1 are hard, so I'm kind of dreading them. That's why I decided to play Mega Man X4 first. Spider Mosquito Cockroach! <laughs> what kind of a monstrosity is that? Oh no! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Okay. Destroys a bunch of those things. Maybe scanning for the boss is harder? Oh, I can whack him away. Okay, sweet. Is Zero like a worse character? Did I pick the bad character? Who's better in this game? Wait, I could switch characters still. I could switch to Mega Man. We haven't even beat anything yet. It's not over. It's not... Okay. Rex. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let me free! We're taking so much damage. Insane amounts of damage. Alright, there we go. You liked him more than X. Who is X? Is X the red guy? Should I switch to Mega Man? Oh, jeez. There we go. I like having a sword, though. But you enjoy X. Got it. Yeah, X seems fun. It's something different. Having a sword and being this red guy. X is Mega Man X. Oh, really? Okay. Gotcha. I didn't really pay that much attention to the story. I'm sorry! Oh, there we go. Sweet. We got a B rank? Jeez, we're getting terrible. So where are all the secret items? That's what I want. That's what I know makes these games, like, beatable. Is all the secret items. Something you can bite. Suck your blood. Make you itchy. That, yeah, that is the ultimate creature. It has to be able to make it itch, it make you itchy. If it can't make you itchy, then what kind of a creature is it even? Okay, let's try this again. Zero doesn't get weapons like X. He upgrades and moves. Wait, really? Upgrades and moves? Oh, they don't require energy. What's up, D three? Welcome to the stream, D3. Good to see you here. Glad you're with us today, Mr. D3. What's going on, dude? Alright, let's cut this thing open. 
We don't have this for the Saturn. Oh, really? There's a Saturn version as well? That's cool. I'm playing the PlayStation version. Correct. Dude, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Correct. There we go. I've been spending like all my time lately watching Magic the Gathering streams. Because there's some really cool event stuff going on right now! That only happens a couple times a year. Wrecked! Oh my gosh, please let me escape. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, sweet. Arcosis! What's up, Arcosis? Wait a minute, he's not... Wait, so X is horribly broken in our OP? You like X more. Really? So should I switch characters? Should I be Mega Man instead? Aw, oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Is Mega Man really that much better? I want to play as the better character! I just dropped my keyboard. Okay. Let's cut this thing down. I like the idea of being horribly broken in OP. Oh, Zero is definitely OP as heck. Oh, awesome, okay. Oh, you were being sarcastic! I see. Well, then I'm all set. I am down to be insane. X6 made for Zero. Really? Cool. A lot of people really hated X6, though. Zero looks weird on PS1, really? Yeah, Zero is really cool. He's so cool in X3! Getting the, uh, whatever that move is called. The instant kill. His Kuzezon! Wrecked. If you guys know where some of these upgrades are, feel free to let me know. I'm down for spoilers, for backseating, for any help. There we go. Sweetness. My gosh, there are balls everywhere. Alright, let's get these balls out of here. Okay. Sweetness. Kick this thing out of here. No! Let me out! Oh cool, if I hit them more they go faster. I guess that makes sense. I kind of just want to tank damage because that would be so much faster. And then I would get a better rating, but then I'm going to die when I get to the boss. That's just the boss weapon. Get special moves. Cool. Okay, sweet. What rating did I get? F. F rating. Okay, let's go. Hurry up. Yes, I will hurry. I will go as fast as humanly possible. Time to go. Right. No! Oh, Mick. Does anyone know what, like, the best stage to start out with is? What's the easiest stage? We tried Cyber Peacock and Jungle. We can try Air Force. Let's see what happens. See where this goes. You left with a space fortress to conquer the air. That's cool. They, each character has their own motivations and everything in the story. That's pretty neat. I like it. Do frost wall rest. Okay, sweet. After we die, we'll go try. Or maybe I'll just go kill myself first. Let's just let's just go find frost wall rest. All right. Next time to um, or what's his name? Zero. All right, Zero. James Roy Games. What is up, dude? Welcome to the stream, James Roy Games. And good to see you here, good sir. Glad you're with us. X4, indeed. Hot soup. Oh man, I had some soup for lunch. I had some butternut squash soup. It was legit. That looks like a walrus to me. All right, let's let's try that. That's the absolute last one. If I was going in order, okay. He protects his weapon, which lies in the snow. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. The other guy went to space to conquer all that is above, and this guy just hides his weapon. That's that's like his tagline. That does not sound very impressive. Okay, but whatever. He's not as epic as the other guy. He's just gonna have to learn to accept that. Let's take down this Yeti. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sweetness. Wait a minute. Is there something back here? This looks like a thing to me. Wait a minute. Why does the world keep reshaping? It's being a pansy. <laughs> oh wait, I see a secret thing up here, you guys. Don't think it has gone unnoticed because I totally see it waiting there for me. And I don't know how to get it. Oh well. Whatever. I don't need it anyway. Let's go. Yay. Okay, sweet. Wait a minute. There's another. How many secret passages are we gonna spot that we can't even utilize? <gasps> cool a thing. I got something, you got. Ah, dang it. Let me back up, you guys. What is that, an extra life, I think? Because now we have three. Let's get back up. Give me my chance. There we go. Good, good, good. This is a really sweet level. Is there anything up here? A secret boss, maybe? Or was I sub... I don't know which side was the side quest area and which was the main quest area. Oh, there's nothing down here? Seriously? Just a giant behemoth? Okay, let's get it going. I guess back we were on the right track all along. We gotta we gotta act like the speed run Oh wait! I see the point of all this. You're supposed to like go in order. So that you go like from here to here. I guess we were doing it a speedrunner way. I don't know, this is too confusing! I just want to do it my way. I thought there was like some special piece of equipment I was missing out there that was just chilling out, waiting for me to find it. Get it? Chilling out? Because we're in the ice region? Okay, but apparently not. Alright, let's chop that stuff up. Down here. Correct. Yeah, proactively! I know Mega Man spikes. I know those aren't going to instant kill me. Yoku blocks? What are Yoku blocks? And where did they come from? And where do they go? Who is your daddy? And what does he do? Thank you for the hose, D3! I appreciate it, dude. Hey. Oh, man. My gosh. Please, let me go. <sighs> That's a shame. Oh, no! They're like the stage time vanishing blocks. Yeah, I know, with those time vanishing... That sucks, I wasted like all my lives. You have to like, plan out your route. Like a legit straight up speed runner. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was actually easy. This is cool. I'm determined to take this guy down. It looks like he's got something back there, and I'm not going to leave until I get it. What is this? Give me my thing. Wait a minute. How do I know when I get, like, a legit upgrade? Was that just energy? I think that was just energy. That was too easy to get. Gohan Hangan! What's up, man? Welcome. Glad you are bringing the... Oh, what are they called? Creepers? Glad you're bringing the creepers. The SSSSSS. The Those guys with you today as you can see we're working closer and closer to your favorite x6 we're gonna be x4 and then x5 who knows how long that'll take but we'll get there eventually oh that spikes <laughs> yeah <laughs> spikes too much mojo some other levels yeah really i don't mind this level yet this is not the boss this cannot be the boss this has to be like a sub-boss or something. Why- wait a minute, why did the other stage have a sub-boss, but... The other one did not have a sub-boss, but this one does. Unless we were fighting the sub-boss and we thought it was the real boss. Or this is the real boss! And it was just easy to get to! Man, this guy's easy. 
I guess this is why Ratmas does them first. Fact. No, I can't die to him. That would just be pathetic. Oh, he's armoring up. Okay. Take your armor. You shall die with that armor too. Oh man, that took some damage. X1 to X6. Creeper approved. Awesome. One stage. X6. Nothing but. So Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. That sounds cool though. I like it. I like it a lot. The flame phoenix guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Wrecked. Gotta go. All right. See you later, Triple J. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Glad you were able to stop by during this super awesome Mega Man experience. We're getting frozen here. Oh my gosh! This boss is so attached. Why won't he just let it go? Oh my gosh. There we go. Hope you guys had a good weekend, by the way. I know I sure did. I had a three day weekend because my schedule is changing today. Which like, in the past I had Friday and Saturday off and now I have Saturday and Sunday off. So they gave me a three day weekend which was really sweet as a result of the schedule change. It was really cool and I'm really happy about it. What is up Super Anago? Welcome to the stream, Super Anago! Benoit the Rapper, what is up, man? You love to have zero sin. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man. Yeah, he is pumped. He really is. Alright, let's, um... I don't know how to do it the regular way. We're just gonna do it the fancy way. No! Oh, we missed it on the fancy way! Maybe there's a fancier way. See, like, I want to know where these power-ups are. Oh, Echo? Let me fix it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. It happens, like, let's see. 15 minutes into the It always happens at some point into the stream. Somewhere between, like, I don't know, 15 minutes and 15 minutes and, like, an hour into the stream. So I have no idea when it's going to happen, but if, when it happens exactly once. Well, I don't think it's a mic problem. I don't know. Because when I'm doing other stuff, it doesn't have an echo ever. Correct. It's just, and I think it's an OBS problem. The beard's looking good. Glad you think so. Yeah, exactly. I would be shocked too, our cousin. The what? What is this madness? Rex. Okay, sweet. There we go. Yeah, no! Aw, oh, dang it, I forgot it. Oh, man. I didn't forget about the Mega Man Spike. The Mega Man Spikes is the whole idea that, like, when you touch something, it instant kills you. Despite everything else not instant killing you in the game. Like, I don't understand that. Why do you even have a health bar if there's something that instant kills you? Like, I can understand if a boss weapon is an instant kill so that you hardcore avoid it, but... Really, like, spikes? I don't know, but that's always been a, a like, something you have to accept when you're playing a Mega Man game. That spikes are just absolutely terrifying and you must avoid them at all costs. But not icicles! If they're on the roof, you can hit them as much as you want. If they're sitting down then you better avoid them. So is this a life? I hope this is a life. Oh, pff, just energy? Are you kidding me? Lame. Okay. There we go. Right. Yay, health. Oh. 
by the time you bite your jaw, I've grown three times. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, Foochley? Yeah, man, I love Castlevania, too. What is up, man? Good to see- Did I almost just die there? I think I've just barely landed on that little bottom platform. But whatever. That was pretty sweet. How are you doing, Foochley? Dude, you guys, I just convinced Foochley to watch Death Note the other day. I'm so glad. If you guys have not seen Death Note, definitely check it out. It's really cool. Shave this. Shave this for good. You think so, Tasso? Do what you must do. The main thing about the main thing is... Don't let Yeah, exactly. I I know that from from watching Mojo stream as we all do. Just try not to get too salty, because everyone dies a lot. Okay, not literally everyone, but a lot of people do. Oh dang it. I wish there was some way to like charge up my sword. Jeez! Please! Give me a chance! Tundra Rhino! Or whatever this guy's called. Ice, icy Manipulator? I don't know what I want to call him. I know he has an official name! His life is still green. Mine is. Why is my life yellow instead of red? It should be red. Because I'm so close to dead. Man, this is so cool. Just the mechanics feels like a fighting game. Like, it's really... Oh, man, now I'm dead. Miss my next six. Yeah, that's a shame. Doing pretty foolish today. Well, that's good. Right. Okay. Let's cut this guy down to size. Get you out of here! Was a lose. What does that mean? Does that mean you didn't do anything that you wanted to do? Okay, sweet. We actually dodged it without getting hit once. That's pretty sweet. I just, I know Mega Man has his Mega Buster that he can charge up. I guess instead of charging up the Mega Buster, you just have, oh my gosh. You just have your three hit combo. Oh wait, I can just mash it while I'm in the air? I didn't know that. I thought they just had one hit. Okay, sweet. Well, that should make this fight way easier. My gosh! Come on out of there, buddy. Oh, he's almost dead! As long as I'm not terrible, then I've got this. Come on, buddy. Yes! We took him down! I Man, I can't believe I didn't realize that you could... Please don't... Wait, area two? Are you kidding me? That's not the end? Wait a minute, how long are these levels? Oh, I guess there's more. How hard does this place get? Does every single level have one? Oh, jeez. I thought that was the final boss. I thought we were literally about to win. Dang it. Man, these little Metuar is getting in my way. Let me down. We gotta keep our eyes peeled. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Mega Man X games always have upgrades chilling out. Please keep your eyes peeled. Keep your arms and legs inside the stream at all times. And keep your eyes out for upgrades levels are infinitely scrolling they never end Wrecked. Wrecked. awesome 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 hype for cliff jumps yeah, we will get hyped for those cliff jumps. I'm ready for them. I'm ready for anything, Toss. So anything that comes at me, we will we'll take it down. Yes. Wait a minute, what did that just do? Everything got covered in ice? Oh my gosh. X4 regular. 
endless mode? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what you're saying, but it sounds bad! I really want to take this guy out so everything doesn't get covered in ice, because everything covered in ice is pretty bad. Be here for support. Okay, sounds good. Any question or you know? Alright, I have questions. Where are all the upgrades? Are there any that I'm missing? Maybe there's an upgrade up there. That looks like an upgrade spot! No! I got here though! There. If I get there, there should be an upgrade waiting for me. Dang it. I guess there's a lot of little spots like that. I guess you gotta just check them all out. All stages have a heart tank. Okay, sweet. We have- currently we have zero upgrades. So it's easy to keep track of what we've gotten so far. Oh, man. Yes. Please let me through! Oh, wait, he does like a battle cry? He says it's not over yet? Okay. Well, I'm glad you believe in yourself, X. Or what is his name? Zero. I'm glad you believe in yourself, Zero. We you release a Mega Man collection. We'll be coming before you know it. Yeah, there's a Mega Man collection on PS2. Maybe I should get that. Overhunter! What is up, Overhunter? Good to see you here, dude. Glad you are with us today. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior! Hey, shut up and fight already! <laughs> oh, that does it! You're going down! Gotta catch them all. Yeah, we do. There we go. Oh dang it. No. French toast. French toast type? Alright. <laughs> so this is supposedly... I think you guys were joking about this guy being... It's, it's hard to tell when you guys are joking because I don't know if you're serious or not. Because I don't know anything about this game. But I think people said this guy's pretty bad. All you have is nothing. Nothing! Well, I'll give you some things. We'll, we'll get you some pancakes, James Roy. Don't worry, we will... We will load you up, my gosh. Giant walrus. Wait, he walks so slowly. Okay, this is pretty simple. No, he did a slide attack. He's like half dead, but I'm out of lives. Oh, he has missiles to fire. He's like Blastoise. Oh, that's not the worst. Wait, we can just chill up here. Pancakes, yes, pancakes. Wait a minute, is this? Oh, dang it, no! Not good, not good, not good. No, we were so close. Oh man, mission failed. That sucks. Wait, you started area two now? Cool. Okay, sweet. Well, that's pretty forgiving. All right, next, let's go. We've got some places to go. We've got big plans for you, buddy. And we are going to explore. I know there's a lot I missed the first time around, but we're going to find it all this time. That's all part of the plan. All about sliding. All right, sweet. We will learn to slide. I know I don't have great technical skill in these video games, but we're learning it. Bearded one. You don't like it. You don't. You like X4. Me too. I think this game is great. Fact. Oh, man. I was trying to decide between this, Prince of Persia, or Mega Man 3 today. But I just like it. the X games so much more than I like classic Mega Man. And I know that's heresy and people are going to be like, what's wrong with you? How you like new thing better than old thing? But it's just because of the movement. Like, the whole reason is just the slide. Makes us so much better. Is there something down here? Is this just going to kill me? Is this just an alternate path? Mega Man 3! Yeah, I need to beat Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 1. Those are the two I have not done yet. And then obviously 7 and 8. 
Could it be possible that Mega Man is Mega Man 7 or 8 easier than Mega Man 3? If one of them is, maybe I could play them out of order. I spoiled myself. I know, I know. Everyone says that. That, like, Mega Man X is just ruining it. It gets you used to something that's, like, too good. Mega Man 3, too. That's how you get better at it. Yeah, you keep playing! Here we go. I know, I just don't like the classics as much as I like X. Wreck. It's because these games are a lot smoother. And you have a lot more options. Movement options. And the upgrades are cool. Oh, no, well, I already beat Mega Man 6. I beat Mega Man 2, 4, 5, and 6. I did them in that order. Well, two and then six, five, four. I was trying to do them in the easiest order possible. And when I beat Mega Man 5, I was like, that game is so easy. Let's just play another Mega Man game. So then I did four. Six is like, yeah, six is a joke, you guys. Six is so unreal how easy it is. I mean, obviously, 2 is easy, but 2 is easy only if you play normal instead of difficult. And only because Metal Blade is, like, completely insane. Like, off the charts on the levels of insanity. Mega Man 9 and 10. I don't know if I can do 9 and 10. 4. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? 4 is harder than 3? Really? Whichever one had, like, the crystal... I think I had a lot of trouble with one of them. I think it was Mega Man 4. Where I had to quit it and then come back. You love 6. Really? 6 is that good? <laughs> Hang on. Something smells like it's burning. And I really hope it's not my computer. You ever smell that burning sensation? Maybe it's some, my roommate cooking. But my computer has given me some messages about, like, this is overheating. Please do this. And stuff like that. I'm just gonna take a quick second, close some of this junk I left open. Okay. That should be better. <laughs> yeah, first thought is the computer. <laughs> You're right, Mega Man 3 is harder than 4. Yeah, that's what most people have said, that Mega Man 3 is one of the harder games. People talk about early rush jet, whatever the heck that means. Took you only 3 hours. 4 is the best. Really? You can't smell anything. Okay. Alright, if you don't smell anything, Tosla, then clearly there's no problems here. Alright, let's wreck this guy. There we go. Good. Good. And good. Mega Man 6 is your favorite. Dust Man is in your PC. Awesome. So if this guy's all about sliding, and I'm, if I'm failing, that, that means I'm really just bad at sliding. Yes, that's how we do it. Oh my gosh. Am I just waiting too long? I think I'm waiting too long. Mega Man 1. Without pause trick. I don't know what the pause trick is. Dust man. Yeah, maybe Dust Man is. I've never de-dusted it. I know people get canned dust to um, spray in their computer fans so that they can um, clean them out. But I've never done that for my computer. Oh man, I took damage when I wasn't supposed to. I've taken a lot of damage. This is not good. Yes! No! My gosh! Well, that was two lives that went away pretty quick. Dang it! I think we got to... I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> Sorry, I meant to buy canned air. Buy an air compressor. Really? An air compressor? I thought you were gonna say it's cheaper to just buy a new computer. <laughs> Cossack club. What are those ones? This is a Cossack, a chicken? Wrecked. We gotta... Okay, so I think my problem is I think I'm waiting, first of all, too long. Like, I'm, I'm playing too risky. Second of all, I think I need to go higher up on the wall. Like, I need to get better at, at staying at the top corner where he cannot touch me at all. There we go. Good, good, good. Wrecked. There we go. Our four. Oh, those levels. Oh yeah, I think Mojo said that like the Wily levels are the hardest. Like the regular levels are easy, but then the Wily levels are insane or something like that. There was something that Mojo said to make me like really afraid of Mega Man 3. Wrecked. Oh man, let's get out of here. Okay, sweet. Darn these little pumpkin creatures! They're just chilling out. Oh my gosh! There we go. Good, good, good. All of them are on YouTube. Awesome. Well, that's cool. We're taking a ton of damage. Um. So yeah, it might be hard. Mojo sucks at three. Really? <laughs> People say Mojo's bad at every Mega Man game. But then if Mojo's bad at Mega Man games, and I'm bad at Rex, and I'm worse than Mojo, then that makes me terrible. Okay, Rex. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Green Mario! Alright, sounds good. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Sweetness. There we go. Yeah, Mojo. That's the Mojo world. We always talk about Mojo when we're playing Mega Man. Yeah, <laughs> of course it is. Anytime I'm playing a Mega Man game, I'm always gonna talk about Mojo. Rex. He beat you at. He can beat Mega Man 7, and you can't, really? Okay, this is what we need to get good at. This right here. This is the strat. For just never take- How did I take damage over- I took more damage over- Oh my gosh. How bad am I at this game? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, no! Ah, oh, no. Wait a minute, I'm better than you? Are you- Are you sure about this? I'm pretty bad at games. Give up on trying to beat Mega Man 7. Really? Give up jumping. <laughs> I like the ideas, Biobo. Forget jumping. We don't need to jump. We're too slippery for that. Okay. This is weird because it looks so easy, but it requires so much focus. My gosh, why is that so hard? I just want to go like hardcore aggro. Because one time I got him down to like almost no hell. I don't know. I think when he starts. Like, we gotta figure out the point of no return. Like, when it's too late to run away. When he starts sliding, don't. Oh, dash jump off the wall. Gotcha. Jemmys! What's up, Jemmys? Welcome. Mr. Jemmys! Good to see you here, dude. Alright, we'll give that a shot. We will try. Okay. 2W good! What's up, 2O good? Good to see you here, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is there, like, a limit to the amount of wall jumps you can perform? I feel like I'm... No! Maybe I'm just clumsy with the controls. I don't know. But I'm getting wrecked! 
Why are you surprised? Should I have picked the other guy? Milo! What is up? Milo! How's it going? How's Skyward Sword been treating you? Hope you're doing awesome. Glad you're with us today. Milo, the last game I played was Tomb Raider. We killed a bunch of deer. We have a bunch of quotes in my quote bot about you. Know, like, oh, we killed Milo again. It was really sad. I think... And we killed Bambi a bunch. It was it was depressing. I like the scruff. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you like it. And I'm glad you're here today. Milo. There's no limit. When he punches a wall. Oh, no way. That's what it was. It was the exact same thing in the other game. <laughs> Dang it. I forgot about that back then, too. How oh, cool. I know. It's depressing. But we had to. It was part of the mission. The worst part was... First I was pretty devastated. But then I realized you could like kick around the deer carcass and put it into the water. And just like... You didn't have to do that, but if you have the option to. I, I like playing with the game, so I, I did that. But I won't bother you with all the gory details of what we did to that poor deer. It, it was only at the very start of the game. We only had to kill like one or two deer. Part of the mission. Yep, it was mandatory. You can't blame me! It was for... He killed you twice. Yeah, I killed... <laughs> I did kill you twice. You find X easier. I think I am... I am not X. Some people said that this guy's completely overpowered, though. So who knows? I did kick... The... <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't be proud of that. But... Okay, that was optional, but we'll consider it a side quest. Therefore, it's part of the game. Therefore, I can't be blamed. There we go. Oh, we can actually kill that guy? Should have opted to fail the game. Yeah, don't play the game. Rex. Oh my gosh. There we go. Wait, we gotta take this guy out. Thank goodness. That guy's a real pain. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of Milo quotes from all the deers we killed. Or from those two deer, at least. And they kept running away. Rex. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh! Jeez. Please. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, that is not a not a deer killing one. You got lucky. You dodged it. Like the beam saver. Good with zero style. Yeah, I like shooting stuff too. That's true. You get more range that way, but whatever. We can play zero, so we'll give him a shot. Yes! I did it, you guys. We did the wall jump that we've been trying to do for so long. Oh, he knocked the wall. This is exactly like that other boss fight. Aw, oh, dang it. I keep missing the wall jump. Oh, well. We've got, like, a bunch of lives. He says it's not over yet when he's almost dead. Aw, oh, dang it. Not again. Oh, how to dash off the wall before he hits it. Got it. I'm just still trying to learn the dash jump. I'm trying to figure out, like, can I just hold down dash and then jump? Or do I have to, like, sequence it in a certain way? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out as we do lose our lives. Okay. Okay, so I waited, like, way too long. Oh, dang it! That time I messed up. You still play Pokemon? Awesome! There we go. <laughs> We've got plenty! Two is like, a ton. Considering I've, I'm never someone who gets like, a million lives. You start out with two. And still having two is... Oh my gosh! But you're right, I know people who are good at video games. They're like, oh, I got uh, 13 lives. 
Or even worse, if it's someone who's really good, the like Rockman or someone. Like, oh, I have uh, 85 lives. <laughs> what? Tap and hold dash and then jump. Tap, hold dash, jump. Okay, got it. <laughs> Clearly, there's. Oh well, there's only one lap now, usually. Breed high-end Pokemon. Well, that's awesome, Gohan. That is exciting. All right, let's take this Walrus down. We have a one life, and then I think we have another chance. Yes! Okay, sweet. We did it. Like, these simple things are so hard for me! Like that. Aw, oh, dang it. I waited too long. I think he, like, hits it earlier than the animation shows. Aw, oh, dang it. No! There we go, that's what we want to do. We want to jump like early, I think. I think it's better to jump too early than too late. My gosh. I could be wrong. Aw, oh, dang it, we hit jump too late. Okay, we're almost dead, so we, I think we got to play aggressive. That did not work out. All right, we're on our last life. This is our chance. We've got our opportunity now. I really wish I could charge up my saber in some way instead of just having rapid fire, but whatever. What's up, purple? Welcome, purple. Welcome. Good to see you here, dude. Taking on a big old walrus. And take him out. Oh. My gosh. Yes! Just barely avoided it. Oh, sweet. So if you do go early, then you can get some easy hits in. Yes. Okay, sweet. We got the pattern down, you guys. Now he's going to start fist bumping. I think I got to time up, time it better when I, like, jump on. Yes, like that. Yes! Oh man, look at this pro move. We're like he's almost as low on life as I am. I don't know what he's doing down there, but I don't like it. No way! We got so close! Oh, we were so getting there, you guys. Also oh, blue ball, man. Oh, in four. Okay. All right, we'll try this again. We never give up. Take this guy down and explode him. All right, through the ice. I like the robot bird. Beat is so cool. This is the last time you can be here all week. Oh man, that's a shame. But, I'll see you next week! And you're here today! We'll have to enjoy the time! Well, we can. Right. Oh man, let's take these guys out, please! There we go. Rex, awesome. Brenta Floss. I don't know what that is, Tasso. Rex. Okay. There we go. Good, good, good. I wish I had more moves. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. There we go. We're making progress. What's up, Rudy Thang? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here, dude. Glad you're with us. What is going on? We are chipping our way through Mega Man X4. We haven't beaten any bosses yet. But we're working on it. We're getting places. Oh, man. There we go. 
Yeah. Wait, what did that even do? That... That thing, whatever I picked up, it didn't give me an extra... Huh. I'm just playing with my moves. Get ready? Yes, we are getting ready! I was born ready. Okay. Hello, walrus. I'm almost dead! <laughs> Why are you trying to fight me like this? This is not a fair fight. I think he should start out almost dead, too. This one's for weapons. Okay. Which, we don't have any weapons. Slice and dice. Yeah, we're gonna try and perfect this guy, since we clearly can't take any damage. We got the saber. Yeah, we do. I think the easiest way to do the wall jump is just, like, on my first attempt. Not to just keep, like, bouncing off the wall, because that seems to be where I die. I gotta do on the first shot, just, like, go in. Go deep, be confident, get in there, and get out. What's up, Dunster? Oh, Peacock's move? Wrecked. There we go. Welcome, Tudster. Welcome. Good to see you here. How's the life going? Oh, jeez. Hope your stream went well the other day. No, please. No, my gosh. There we go. That's what I've been trying to do for the past billion attempts. Okay, there we go. Dark Hero, what's up? Yes, I was thinking about you when I picked up this game. I was like, man, he is going to be excited to see this. Oh, dang it. No. We're having a lot of trouble beating this first boss here, but, but we're getting there. I'm sure it's going to be like, oh, man, how are you going to beat this guy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You were right, Rudy. Thing. He's just chilling out like, thunk. Thunk, 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 thunk. The screen shakes with every step and everything. It's pretty wild. So close. I know we were getting there. We were getting there. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so bad at the button pushing part. Yes. I feel so good when I do the right thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweetness. He's dying though. He's taking damage and I'm I'm almost dead too. This is like the point we always get to. It's like mutually assured destruction. Except I'm destroyed before he is. Oh my gosh, he's doing the special attack that I don't like. Like, how do I dodge that? I literally have no options. We're out of options. Fast, fast. Nice. Okay, yeah, technically that is true. It is. The entire game is the button pushing part. There we go. You don't attack the projectiles. So is that saying you, you're supposed to attack them? I try and dodge them. But dodging wasn't really working. So I'm guessing you're supposed to attack them instead. My gosh. There we go. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Thank you for following! Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Glad you're here. Glad you're with us. And welcome to the stream. You weren't on your phone. A small guy versus a big guy. Alright, well next time you're not on your phone, definitely send that to us. I'll, we'll check it out. Don't dodge. Attack! Okay, got it. We'll be on the attack plan. We'll be on the offensive. Dodge with my fist. Okay, sweet. That sounds like a good plan. 
we'll fight our way through it. Just like uh, Mike Tyson or or Rocky. If you guys haven't seen the Rocky movie, man, I love Rocky. I think I've seen all of them except like the first one. Rocky 4 is the best Rocky movie by far. There we go. Wrecked. I know Rocky 1, here's spoilers for all the Rocky movies as far as I know. Rocky 1 is the one where he loses. Rocky 2, he wins. Rocky 4, he fights the Russian guy. Rocky 6 is like his son. New movie. New one? Sweet. Back to work. Alright. See you later, Doc Hero. Have fun going back to work. Thanks for stopping by. Wreck. There we go. Alright, let's take these guys down. Or he trains Apollo Creed's son. Really? Neat. Okay. Attempt number three. We've got our three lives. We are set. We are ready to fight. Hello, massive penguin jerk. What's up, buddy? Let's take you on and take you out. My gosh, this is a terrible start. Why did I decide it was a good idea to just tank the damage? I really wish I could just practice this fight. Dang it. My gosh. No way. Oh, man. I wish we had more lives. That would be so nice right now. Okay. Give me another shot. Let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. Save state? Yeah, maybe I should save state. That might be a good idea. Just so that we don't have to fight through the level a million times. Jump! Oh, I'm I'm not trying I'm trying to do like the right thing. It's not that I don't know what to do. Like I know what the right thing to do is. It's just hard for me to do it. Like that's the right thing, what you just saw. Is you're supposed to like run up. Oh dang it. I'm just really, really bad at pushing buttons. Dang it! And the timing's a little bit tight too. Dang it! Oh man. You believe? Well, I'm glad you believe. Dang it. We do the pro tier creeper way. Yeah, but it takes so long to get to him is the only problem. It would just be a safe state like right before the boss fight starts. But I don't know, we'll see. No way! Jeez, Louise. Yes! Okay. So he's gonna charge in a second? No! I missed my jump! Ugh, I missed my opportunity. That really sucks. If you, like, know you're going to miss it, obviously there's no way to know because you're going to try for it. But if you did know, then you could just stand there and tank the damage. Alright, we got to set up our path out of here. My gosh! Your hands are taking the info of the muscle rack. Yeah, well, I don't know if I know the right order to push the buttons. Like, I need to just find a random wall to practice on. The thing is, like, he knocks the walls, too. So I think I can just hold down dash all the time when I'm going through that fight. At least when I'm on the wall. Like if I don't hold down dash, I'll do a regular jump. 
So I, I, I guess my problem is I'm not holding down dash when I actually do the move. Which is fine. Split seconds. Yeah, exactly. It's frame perfect. There we go. Sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys... I really want to order pizza when I finish streaming today. Domino's has this awesome deal. I know a lot of people hate Domino's, but I personally think Domino's is literally heaven. Like, there's, I've never had a- I don't care. I've been to like fancy pizza places. I've been all over the place as far as pizza. I've had- I've never tried making my own pizza, but I have tried like oven pizzas and, and like actual Italian restaurant pizzas. Nothing for me has topped Domino's. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that, but Domino's is just the best. Not only do they have the best deals, they have the best flavors, the best ingredients. You can get two pizzas for 12 bucks, or you can get an infinite topping. A, there, there's like some deals where it's just like any toppings, and it's like, really? And then you put on like triple cheese, triple pineapple, triple jalapenos, and it's still the same price. And I'm like, heck yes! Yeah, I know, everyone says that, but I love Domino's. Domino's is bad. I th love pizza. <laughs> well, that's the spirit, Dunster. Love of pizza. That is where it's at. Donato's. Domino's. Okay. Sweet. Forgetting places. I had a favorite pizza place, but you can't go anymore. Pizza snobs. <laughs> Exactly, that's how I feel. Yeah, because I was thinking about ordering Domino's last night. I decided not to because I'm like, alright, I Domino's is, I mean, ordering pizza is like a premium experience. And I can just like scrounge up food from around the house. Needs to pay you for the ads? Oh, I wish. That would be like, haha. I like, I sign up for their email list and everything. And every day when I'm hungry, I'm just sitting around like, Hey, I wonder what I got in my email. Ooh, another... And it's always, like, the same deal that they email out every single week. But it always makes me really hungry. Oh, man, I jumped too early. That sucks. There we go. Oh, man, we pushed... We pushed the wrong button. Yes, there we go. We're getting better at this. Pizza's better out of state. Yeah, I've heard really good things about New York pizza. I have been to New York before, but I never got a chance to try their pizza. And supposedly Chicago is really famous for having good pizza as well. Oh dang it! We're getting so close! What the heck is he doing over there? Aw, oh, dang it, no! Aw, oh, standing there was not gonna be a good idea. Little Italy. Nice. All of the pizzas are inferior to New York pizza. Really? Yeah, I did live up in Maryland for a summer, and then we went over to like New York and other places. But I forgot to get the fancy food. You're from Chicago. Yeah, and how is the Chicago? It's nothing? Really? Inferior. Pizza in the city. Didn't really like it, really. New York is the best. Oh, jeez. We let him hit the wall. That's not good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you post the link. Awesome. I will check that out later. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we are pretty YOLO in. I think we got to just do risky strats. Aw, oh, dang it. And just hope for the best. If we fight the war of attrition, then we're just going to lose. Dang it, not again. Donut toes. Okay, sweet. Avoiding the pizza. It's going to make you hungry. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry too. It's because I've been thinking about pizza like all day. Gotta try that New York pizza. Yeah. Good thinking.
Okay. All right, buddy. Mr. Walrus! That time I just intentionally took the damage. I should have ran away. Yes! Oh my gosh! Every time I have to fight it, we fought a boss that was exactly like this in the other game, and I had like just as much trouble as I am now. Like, it's such a simple pattern, too. Please don't charge it! I'm not ready for you, buddy! What?! That's crazy! I wasn't even on screen! Okay. Rudy, thank you, sir. You won't like Chicago pizza, really? Pizza in Italy. Oh, you've actually had pizza in Italy? Oh my gosh, calzones are amazing. Calzones are like a gift from the gods. Because normally, like, I don't know. A, a calzone is like three days worth of food. It's so cool. And they can just put everything in it. Oh my gosh! There we go, sweet. Only want the best. Then you've got your work cut out for you, man. No! I'm actually the opposite. I really don't mind experiencing mediocre stuff. As long as it's at a cost-efficient rate. Oh man, he's so close to dying! Please don't let one of those icicles hit me. Of course they hit me, and of course he fires a third time. Oh dang it, why? Why didn't I just tank the damage earlier on? No way! Oh my gosh, this is tough. In Southern Italy, pizza's topped with water buffalo, mozzarella? Pretty calm. Nice. <laughs> a ton of Italian goods, really? Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any plans to be up there anytime soon. But yeah, I used to live up in the uh, the tri-state area, as we called it back in the day. Silver Springs, Maryland. It was a pretty sweet area. It was legit. We would go to like an Amish market on weekends, and they had a ton of good food. I started eating a lot of spicy food lately, but it's like my my taste for spiciness. I've gotten like immune to spicy food. Nothing spicy anymore because I kept eating spicier and spicier food. And now like even if I go to like an Asian restaurant and you know how they have like spicy ratings where it'll have like one, two, or three hot chili peppers it'd be like dangerously spicy. It's like nothing affects me anymore. It used to be like a pepperoni and I'd be like whoa this is spicy I shouldn't eat this. But now even when I go to the store it's like Come on, you guys don't even have peppers spicy enough to phase me anymore. I guess I could just use like a ton of them. You're Mexican, so yeah. Dash under him when he goes to, goes to slide. Oh, really? There's an interesting thought. I didn't think of that. All right, sweet. Thanks. Sugar to your pizza sauce? I actually. A lot of you will know this about me. I actually don't like pizza sauce. I like getting pizzas that are just... They replace the pizza sauce with Parmesan, Alfredo, some, some kind of white sauce. Instead of regular tomato sauce. Because I feel like tomatoes are like the worst part of pizzas. Um, please don't say that, Rudy thing. I'm gonna have to purge that, man. You can't say racism is fun. That's really bad. Likes white pizza. Yes, I do. Yes, I did live in Silver Springs. When I went, when I was a camp counselor, I was in Silver Springs, Maryland. Or I think it's actually Silver Spring. Taco pizza. Yeah! Oh my gosh! I started making my own burritos recently. Burritos are so legit, you guys. Barbecue sauce pizza? Yeah, barbecue chicken pizza? 
I am down for that. Any? Oh wait, no, well not anymore. I'm actually a vegetarian now. I know it's lame, cause I used to love pepperoni pizza so much. But it's like animals are pretty cool. But the main reason is just to be healthier. Cause I realized all the unhealthy food I ate was also meat. Like it, it would either be tacos from a fast food place or it was pizza. So it's like, all right, I'm trying to cut down. So I'll just start eating just vegetables and stuff. Taco pizza and hamburger pizza. The negative side is I've still been eating pizza like a couple times a month ever since I became vegetarian. On the positive side, I never get fast food anymore, so at least it's a small step up. One cow starving can feed 30 people. Yeah, it's not really about the ethics thing. I'm not really that driven to it. I'll probably stop being vegetarian one of these days, but we'll see. Not going to get into the animal stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hamburger pizza! Taco pizza. Taco pizza? 400 pounds. It's organic, it's better. Yeah! I don't know, I try and live this simple life. Try and, um... I need to learn the world of seasoning. Jump! Yes, that was good! Wait, how have I taken damage already? I haven't... Alright, sweet, we're getting so much better at that. If I feel like I can't do it, I'm just gonna... Wait a minute, sweet. Oh, dang it! Is there any way to know ahead of time if he's going to do the jump or not? Oh dang it, he hit it. Here's our chance. Oh no, I didn't realize that last icicle, that sucks. Oh sweet, we broke it! That's a first! Oh dang it! Oh jeez. I lose only 30. Todd Stewart in a pizza place. Sounds pretty awesome. What's up, Air Hammer? How are you doing, Air Hammer? Welcome to the streaming. Good to see you here, Air Hammer! What's up, man? Oh jeez, we're getting wrecked. Okay. Awesome, glad you're doing well. Glad you're with us today. Jeez. Yeah, we're trying X4. We're giving it a shot. We've made zero progress. We're like two hours in. But that's okay. We're we're learning. Dang it! I need upgrades. Are there any upgrades? And zero. Yeah. He's so close to dead right now. No! Oh my gosh! A little progress. My favorite Mega Man game is Mega Man X3 because Mega Man X3 gives you the most overpowered abilities in any of them. Because you get like a sideward jump, an upward jump, you get all sorts of jumps. Dragoon? No, I haven't beaten anything. X2 and X1. Nice. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh man, I should have went under when I realized it was too late. It's just so hard to know because like, so you have your guaranteed option of um, if you jump and dash jump off the wall correctly. Oh no, why? Then you're gonna like succeed 100% of the time. Oh dang it, no. We're getting so much damage in by just standing here. No! We got clobbered! We were right there! Oh, we were so close. X3. That's romantic in high school. One and two in grade school. Nice. 
Okay, we'll all look into that pizza place for sure, Gohan Anger. Oh, motor. This is epic. In Little Italy. For the memories? Gotcha. It looks fantastic. Yeah, there used to be a place called Pizza Gallery. And I think their their like main attraction was you can like you can get anything on your pizza. And it was also a pretty classy pizza place. Because there'd be like waiters wearing like practically suits and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still pizza. I think pizza places should be more endorsing of like, get as many toppings as you want. That's another reason I like Domino's so much. Because they endorse that a lot. Of like, yeah, I want a billion toppings and triple everything. And when I say endorse, I mean not charging, like, unrealistic prices for higher toppings. Oh, jeez. There we go. You think you gotta go? Alright, see you later, Tasso. Thank you for being here. Glad you were able to be with us today, Tasso. There we go. Let me get through. Let's escape this world. General Sao Chicken Pizza. Nice. Sounds pretty awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Chicken Outlet Pizza? Cool. There we go. Crap, very good. Nice. Alright, so this is the temp. This is the run, you guys. Now we're gonna do it. What's up, Straw Hats 1? Welcome. Good to see you here, Straw Hats. How are you doing? How's your day? How's things going? Welcome, Straw Hats. Yes, we did it. Okay, awesome. Oh, that's why I had damage on me before. Because I took damage in the level. Oh, dang it. Why did that not work? I don't know. Yes, awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I wish we didn't take damage in the level. This would be like a perfect run. Oh dang it! More damage on my face. No! There were spikes there! I didn't even pay attention to that! Oh dang it, dang it, dang it. Why is this game so hard sometimes? No, why is the game so hard all the times, I should say? Okay. <sighs> it has been pretty tough. Hey buddy, what's up? Okay, we're trying again. Yeah, tips is allowed, encouraged, and welcome. Yes! Do you have any ideas? Game tips or pizza tips? <laughs> Dude, I encourage it. There we go. Yes! This is the perfect run! We've dealt like half his life and damage now. Last time he did this sequence... Oh man. Oh that was close. There we go. Now we can crack that, and hopefully we can just tank the rest of the damage, which is not a good strategy, but I think we can do it. I think it's actually- YES! And he's done it! He's done it! We've done it! Okay. I think, hopefully there's not, not 100%. Oh. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Have a step. Stop dying! Well, we did it, you guys! Mission accomplished! 
Victory. G. G. How am I supposed to pronounce that? Down SM button while jumping. What the heck is the SM button? Dive attack. Effective against enemies. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Awesome. If tank the damage after 20 times, yes, we calculated it right so that I knew I could just stay in there, keep whacking him with my sword, and he would be dead soon enough. Thanks to our good old iframes. Alright, you guys, who's next? We've taken down. Walrus. It's triangle. Okay, got it. Whoop whoop. Yeah, we're winning. Who should we fight? Military train, volcano, biolab, try dragon. Alright, sweet. Where's the dragon? What the? Oh, this guy's a dragon? Is that a dragon or is that a seahorse? Next in weakness is Stingray. Okay. Why don't I go for the Stingray then? Betrayed. He's a regular hunter and he did himself inside. A he hid himself inside a volcano. Okay. Well, sounds like he's a Freddy Cat. Alright, so we'll try this guy. If this doesn't work out, we can give a shot over to that Stingray. I like going for the weaknesses though. Oh, cool. So that's my new ability. Jeez! Yay! Alright, we're getting voices. No! It's hard without a weakness. Really? Then why are we here? What are we doing? What it what has split gone mad? This is why we have the mech. Oh dang it, no! Oh man. Okay. Well then, let's go back to stage select. Let's try, um, Stingray. <laughs> if that's the weakness. Now on break. Awesome! The mech won't last long. Marine base? Does that seem like a Stingray? Biolab. I don't know which of these creatures... That's a jungle. Probably this one? Gotta go fast. Stingray! Okay, awesome. This is where we were intending to be all along. He destroyed the city and escaped the sea! Now that, that sounds like a description. You gotta go. Alright, well thanks for stopping by today, Straw Hats. Appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bottom left, alright, sweet. Oh cool, I get a motorbike? That's pretty sweet. Easiest boss, awesome. And we got his weakness and everything. Okay. This is neat. I like having a motorbike. I think Mega Man, either Mega Man 4 or 5 gave you, like, just one of the levels randomly gives you a vehicle. I was really surprised and it seemed, oh, dang it, out of place. But it was really neat. You can dash, shoot, jump? Really? Oh, no way! This is just like a Ninja Turtles game or something. I don't know. It's cool. This is not what I expected this level to be like. Heart and sub tank in the stage. Okay, sweet. We haven't gotten any sub tanks or any hearts or anything in the game yet, so we gotta keep our eyes open. Or if you guys know where it is, let me know. Jump! A lot of scrolling- OH! Is that the heart? Yeah, we just went right by it. So we just gotta go low. So we also wanna try and keep an eye out for the sub tank as well. Oh jeez! Alright, well I guess this is our chance to get the sub tank. I'm guessing you have to dash at like just the right moment to get that heart. Cause it, it can't be like extremely easy, I imagine. Okay. That's not the right moment. I don't care if I tank the damage, I just want my heart. Yes! Alright, sweet, so we, we died, but we got it. Okay, so now hopefully it'll it won't be there anymore. Meaning that we got it. Just drop off. Okay, sweet. Well, that's kind of weird because, like, the game expects you to jump to succeed. <laughs> but you have to just drop off to actually get your item? That is not what I expected at all. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, that sub tank is literally like do nothing and you get it. I'm down for that any day of the week. Yes, dies. Exactly, Dark Hero. Exactly. Oh, part of the plan. Yes. Yeah, that hole. We fell down it. Oh man, I'm almost out of life. Life is a serious issue here, apparently. Wait, am I dead? Don't tell me I'm dead. Oh, thank good. Wait, what? We're on area two already? Cool. <laughs> and it refills my life to full. Awesome. I am down for that. Sweetness. All right, fire me through. Let's uh, get going. Yes. Yes. Oh man, we're taking a ton of damage from something. Somewhere. This little guy's just trailing on us. Dude, I don't want your bombs. Let me free. Is that the sub tank? Was it up there? I think I saw something up top. And that might have been it. <laughs> Cannot drive. Yeah. No, I bet he drives like a pro. It's just I'm a terrible at steering him. Sub tank towards the end. You need to dash jump on the platform. Use the dash momentum to break the crates. Grab the tank. Got it. All right, sweet. That was it. Okay, sweet. We saw it. So at least sub tank has been spotted. Okay, so it's gonna be a certain button combination at a certain moment. Oh, there it is! I actually had the right ID. Uh, dang it. Okay, that actually doesn't look that bad to get. Because we were on the right track. I mean, we can totally do this with just a little bit of practice. Alright, sweet. Come on, cat man. Let's take you out! Whoa! Oh man, I thought that was me rocketing across the screen. Dang it! You guys, I am so pumped. So I start working 20 hours a week this week and then in the future. And like, in my job, you can apply for time off as well, like for that particular day. And, like, I like not working. A lot of people like not working. Like, either getting off work early or working less. And I felt so greedy for, a, for like, not only am I going to start working half as much as I used to, I also applied to get off early this today. And I felt so greedy. Oh, dang it. Ugh, we missed it something. Like, yep, I bet other people are waiting to get off early, but, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so pumped. Because it's like, I really... The reason I never got promoted is because I don't want to get promoted. I like working my work-at-home job. Not having to work that much. Not having to drive in. If I got promoted, it'd be way more work. Like, every step of the way. More hours. You're at work right now. Yeah, I, at my old job, I could work. I could uh, watch streams at work, and it was pretty sweet. I work at a call center. It's for a timeshare company. Which, like, people say, oh, timeshares are a scam. They're pretty much right. For you guys who don't know, a timeshare is basically, like, paying an obscene amount of money up front to be able to travel to some locations that's supposedly cheaper over time. It's an obscenely bad idea because it's committing to something that you're not- Dang it! You have to make both jumps. You have to be sure. Seven days a week? Yeah, I wish. No, I don't have the energy for that. I've just been doing a lot more stuff lately. I used to stream six days a week, which was really sweet. But... 
These days I've been trying to like spend my time doing a lot more other stuff. There we go. Oh man. Like, cause it's weird. Even though I have more spare time, I also have more of it dedicated. Oh dang it! No, I missed the jump! Yeah, they're not entirely bad. You are absolutely right. I think there was even a study done saying like 70% of people who own timeshares are happy with them or something like that. I don't know if that's actually true because it sounds like a bunch of BS to me. Um, they're good if you have a lot of spare money. Either if you like going to the exact same vacation spot every year. If you plan really far ahead. But most people are not good at doing that. I had one at Disney. Nice! Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, like if you if you like going either to the same place every year or if you can just plan really far ahead, then they're good. If you... You can have a job that makes it hard, like if you don't find out your vacation time ahead of time and stuff like that. Do the plane jump on that plot. Okay, gotcha! Plane jump and then dash jump. Okay, sweet. That's what we gotta go for. Yeah, I wish I could. I really do. Because I used to, like... Streaming used to be my favorite thing of anything. But these days, like... I've just been doing... A lot more. Like, learning to cook, reading books. Other boring off-stream stuff, but... I just started to realize I was starting to, like... Do too much time spending it on one thing. Oh, there we go. So there's going to be this jump upcoming. Please let me through. No! Oh, I needed... So you have to break... Oh, you... Okay, so you can break the boxes just by shooting them. I stream three days a week. Yeah, I do four days a week, usually. I used to do six days, and that was pretty sweet back in the day. Favorite vacation spot is a vacation. <laughs> yeah, see, the the idea of, like, a vacation in itself is kind of weird. Because, to me, like, I like to live my life as efficiently as possible. I don't value traveling at all, because if you're going to travel somewhere, like, whether you're driving, flying, whatever it is, the first expense is time. You're wasting a lot of time to actually get to that place. And then that's that's a cost in itself. You can break that down however you want. Like if you look at it, if you look at it as time is money, then you work fifteen dollars an hour, and it takes eight hours to get there. Then fifteen times eight, and that's the value that you're losing just in the time to get there. And that's like a huge downer for me, unless you really like driving, or if you like listen to podcasts and then you just listen to them while you're on the way there. But like I don't know, I view driving as time wasted or traveling as time wasted. Like, the process of moving from here to there. And then there's all the other costs. Like, I just... I know some people are like, Oh, spend money, make money. I'm like, no. Make money so that you can save money so that you can quit your job early. Or work less hours. You don't have to take care of them at all. That's true. That's true. I think... So, time shares are also nice if it's like... If you have a summer home or if you would have a summer home I know a lot of people some well some people have like my parents used to have a summer home up in the Poconos in Pennsylvania like a nice wooded area it was really cool but for people like that instead of owning, owning an entire home you might as well just like own a week and just stay one week at that home, summer home instead of having to worry about all the maintenance and everything man this guy's just so on me Oh, there's the jump we missed. I miss it like every time too. I gotta keep an eye out for that hardcore. Rather own a condo. Yeah, that's true. I'd just rather not own anything. I really want to become a landlord, you guys. A lot of people... <laughs> I've been thinking about becoming a landlord for a... Dang it, man. I've been thinking about becoming a landlord for a long, long time. The problem with this level is that... Everything looks the same. It's hard to tell when the jump is upcoming. 
But I guess every time a platform ends, I should pretend that it's going to be there, and I should just try and jump at that point. Um, do it. Yeah, that's the that's the idea. I am going to do it. One of these days, I'm going to buy a house. And then just start. Because here's the idea. Like, a lot of people will say, like, oh, a lot of things could go wrong. Someone might not pay their rent on time. Might have to evict people, and it's very hard. Someone might bring in a huge dog. Yes! Yes, we did it! Awesome! That's all I wanted to do. But the idea is that if you have like a four bedroom house and then you rent it out, if you rent out all four rooms, then no matter what happens, the rent is gonna make up for all the costs you have. Like the cost of the mortgage, the cost of insurance, repairs, everything. So like the cost is like, yeah, it takes a lot of time to upkeep that. But for someone who like lives like I do, where you try and spend as little as possible and earn as little as possible. Uh, well, not earn, but work as little as possible. My rent is my biggest expense by far. It takes up like a, a fourth of my income. Which really sucks. And if you were a homeowner, that would be wiped out. Or at least you'd be um, renting rooms out to cover the, that expense. Only paid salary. And you only work 35 hours a week. Really? Nice! Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I guess if you're paying paid a salary, then, um... Then as long as you get your work done, that's all that matters. But I've heard so many people say... Like, everyone I've asked about it has said, like... I work way more hours... I work way more than 40 hours a week. And I haven't been able to figure out, like... Is that... Because they like they're like, well, I could I could spend less time hanging out with my coworkers and stopping by and saying hi to people. It's like, well, I imagine that only takes like five or ten minutes a day. And they say like, well, I could work eight to five if I just sat down and hunkered down and worked really hard. It's like, well, why don't you then? Why would you want to spend more hours at work? I just I feel like when you meet your coworkers and you hang out with your coworkers, it's not the same as like real friends for the most part. Because when you're hanging out with coworkers, like, you want to, you generally end up talking about work. And that's not fun. At least I don't feel comfortable about my work, around my workers, like, being, being normal. Because obviously there's, like, some sort of business impact. Like, what if it, they, that person becomes your next boss or something? Industrial technician. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about becoming that. You can become a tech, you can become a, uh, an apprentice. And then just have someone start teaching you. They cover a lot of your expenses. And then just quickly start earning the big bucks. Yeah, exactly. Forget co-workers. They're lame. Like, there have been co-workers where it's like, yeah, we, we're legit friends. And we start hanging out outside of work. But it's like never as much fun as people I've met outside of work. And people are like, oh, let's all go hang out. Just like not even related to work, just for fun. I'm like, uh, you guys can go have fun with that. I'm sure it's like not interested. Is stand on the far right corner face towards the middle. And don't move. Just jump. Oh, got it. Dang it. I keep getting hit by that very end part. And that's what I'm really bad at. Um, the thing I was thinking about is becoming a landlord is like... If you live in the house that you're renting out... Then you would know a lot of the problems before they come up. Oh, dang it. I keep jumping at the wrong... My problem is I'm so fidgety with this level, like, you're just, it's an auto-scroller, so you're just waiting for things to happen most of the time. If you jump at the wrong time, you kill yourself. Little bro makes eight to a hundred a year. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I would actually really like to become a security guard, too. That would be pretty sweet. They're just backstabbers. There we go. Okay, sweet. Let's go down here. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm really glad we got that E-Tank. Okay, sweet. We got here with two lives. Okay, so we have to stand in the far right corner face. Towards the middle. Don't move. Just jump to hit the boss. Sweet! And we got a full heal. Continues and stuff. Nope. 
Yeah, a lot of people talk about Josh where like you can be your own boss and whatever, but I don't know, that would be pretty cool. I just want to work as little as possible, or not at all. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about, Jamis. This seems pretty reasonable. But his weakness is the um, ice. Ice him? Okay, so how are we going to ice him, though? So I know how to do the ice move. We just got to figure out, like, how are we going to land it on him? I guess we got to go on top. That's computer engineers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I completely understand. Like, a lot of people are really boring. Okay. How do we ice him, though? Just jump and do it? Do we have to get above him? Stress kills. Yeah, it does. Can we just, like, stand right next to him and ice him? I think we can try that. Too much of a boss. I'm like, yeah, worrying about stuff. That sucks. Okay, so we don't have to just behind him. Okay, sweet! Well, that's awesome, then. That should be easy. Oh, sweet. So I don't know when to go for it. Oh, maybe when he comes over? Well, it looks pretty easy to be safe in this boss fight, at least. Like, you can just stand here. Don't even worry about using ice. Really? I don't think it's that hard to ice him, though. Jeez, we're gonna die. Those little muskrats just stick around. You just jump in normal swing? Really? So should I, I... I should probably stay in the middle then. Okay, let's give that a shot then. Oh dang it! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, he keeps cheering for himself. I like it. This guy is proud of what he does. Corners underneath the boss. Kill the ads. Okay, got it. Will do. We are running out of lives, which is the sucky thing about when you, like, make a mistake early in on the level. At least it doesn't take long, since it's an auto-scroller, it's also pretty short. So then we're back in the action in no time. I just wish, like, dashing actually did something. So I guess that's the boss in some incarnation just chilling out behind us. So here's the jump that I normally miss. Alright, sweet. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. We're fighting underwater. I guess we should fight in the... Let's try fighting in the middle. I think... That might be a better idea. Maybe not. I don't know about this boss, you guys. Dang it! Yeah, the ice thing might be too hard to use. Like, he's so high above me. And the ice only heads down? 
Like, are you serious? Okay, let's try this again. At least it's an easy level to get through. Physics ignored. Yeah, who needs physics? I sure don't. Okay. Come on up, buddy. Yeah, this is going to be way easier than trying to use his weakness and trying to ice him. We're taking a lot of damage though, that's the only thing I'm worrying about. It must be when he does the dive. Oh, there we go. We got the ice head in. We dealt a bunch of damage. We're also taking a bunch of damage left and right. No! Oh, he came down. He descended. Dang it. Well, we're slowly getting better. I guess we gotta play defensive, which is boring! I wanna play the aggressive style. But yeah, our best shot is just playing defensive hardcore, I think. Do we have an energy tank that's been charging up? Oh, sweet! We do. Why does it have an E? I don't know. I guess that's just our energy tank. So I guess if we're having a really good run, stay alive in the corner. Oh, gotcha. Dang it! We're dead already. Stay all the way in that corner. Okay, all the way over. Sweet. Okay, gotcha. We just gotta go more. We gotta go deeper. Not going deep enough. But that is all part of the plan. There we go. At least we don't have any more pickups we have to worry about. I really hate this guy early on. Because he just like pesters you with a bunch of damage! Dang it. Alright, we're at zero lives. I think I actually want to just die. Give, let me restart with two lives. So that we can have a better shot at fighting this guy. Where's the earliest point that it'll let me kill myself? There we go. Come all the way out, he can hit you. Yeah. Sounds like it. But whatever. We'll use whatever we can to succeed. For victory! Okay. No! That's the- Oh my gosh! See, the problem is it gives you like so many things to shoot and I want to shoot them! But then it also punishes you for it, which is like kind of annoying. Cause it's like, no, don't jump. Stay down there. Because if you jump, if you don't, if you don't take it out, you risk taking damage. If you jump though, you risk death. Which sucks. It's like, are you kidding me? What kind of a trade-off is that? Like trying to take the, the more skilled approach is obviously like shooting down all the things. But the risk of taking the skilled approach is tremendous. And the reward is pretty minimal. Like you just take a little bit less damage. And taking damage doesn't even matter because you heal up full if you get all the way through anyway. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we were trying to kill ourselves so we could get back to two lives. But anyway, this should be the run. Now we know all the pro techniques. We gotta stay just all the way in the corner. There we go. Just take my tiny hits in. When I get the chance to. It's such a minimal amount of damage, but whatever. 
He's so simple. Okay, so we've taken damage by jumping when I like wasn't supposed to jump. Oh man, he's half dead. There you go. There we go. Yeah, it is safer if we do your approach. Cause when you actually hit him with your weak with the weakness. It deals so much damage. Oh, now they're red? What does that mean? Okay. Let's please get it this time. I guess they're faster. No! Wait a minute, he dived straight down! Did we mess it up? I'm... I was like pretty far in the corner. I guess maybe I could have been further in, but I don't know how much further I could have gotten. Because it's like, you, so you have to turn around. That's why I'm not like frame perfect or pixel perfect inside that corner to be able to hit those little fish that come out. Like that. So like right now I'm not pixel perfect in the corner. Oh, he does have a final attack. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, is he going to do it? No, he's not. Now, is he going to do it? No. Oh, dang it! He hit me that time! I was all the way in the corner and everything. I don't understand. He's getting smarter. Maybe I was in the wrong corner. Dang it! Alright, you gotta go. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Glad you were with us. Glad you were here. Corner underneath him. Oh, so I was in the wrong corner. Okay. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. We're dying left and right. Okay. Ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's take another shot. Okay. So here's where things could go wrong. There we go. We're up. We're over. I really- this guy is like just annoying. He just chills out there just tossing these little fishies at me. Dude, just chill out. Oh sweet, we got there first time. Awesome. Well that's a good start. And we got our full heal. You know, almost no life, so that means we got like full value on that heal. I like it. I like it a lot. Warning, 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 warning. I am warned. I like how the boss even grunts. He sounds like a little kid. Like, huh, 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 huh. My controller is like not perfect. Maybe I should remap the controls. It's a little bit touchy. I know this is what I'm not supposed to do, but I really want it to work. Because the problem is the current way we're fighting this guy, it just takes a long time. The longer we spend like playing with the boss, even if it is safe, 
it allows more margin for error, which is a little nerve-wracking. Because then the, the little margins of error add up to something more, which is bad. Okay. Try this again. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Let's do this. Maybe I'm just pushing... Wait a minute. <laughs> I was in the corner. There we go. I don't understand this guy anymore. So only when he charges one way? I think when he charges the other way we have to jump over him. Like if he charged a second time- OH DANG IT! That's why we don't jump. You just gotta be like so perfect when you decide to go for the jump and everything. Jump. Okay, let's try this again. We don't give up. All right, let's go. There we go. Yes, we dodged it. Okay, sweet. I was a little bit nervous about that. We should be able to get one or two hits in early. One, two, three, four. All right, sweet. It's just like batting practice. One, two, three, four. We can get two hits in this way. And then one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Sweet. We're getting so much better at this. We haven't even taken damage yet. Okay, well now we've taken damage, but whatever. It is what it is. I messed up. I was on the complete wrong side of him. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's crazy. I've no! We almost had him too! Oh, dang it. I've never seen them do that before. That's crazy. So I'm guessing that's like the intended way that they're supposed to shoot. Like if you if you're standing across from him instead of underneath, then it would probably shoot. E tank. Oh shoot! Dang it, I completely forgot. That would have been perfect timing for an E-Tank, too. We were, like, so close. Because we've got our tank. It's, like, filled up and ready to go. Like, we are so prepared to tank on this fight. Oh, well. That's okay. There's always next time. We worked hard to get that tank, so we, we should probably use it. At least we're getting better at the level itself. We're getting better at like every step of this game. Let's go! In we go! Alright. There we go. Yes. One, two, three, four. Sweetness. We've taken a little bit of damage, which is just like my fault. Completely my fault. I, I kind of want to just beat this boss, and then I think we'll end the stream for today. Oh man. I don't know why I just stood there. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we took damage from the little icicle things. 
Or from the little mice. Do we E tank now? Okay, now we tank. There we go. Okay, now we should be good. I just gotta take out these mice. Oh, there's the final attack. That's what we should have been trying to watch out for. I was just so worried about dealing with those little mice. Three, four, five. Man, there's way more of them, too. Mice? Yeah, aren't they mice? I thought that's what they are. Is he dead? I think we did it! Oh man, mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it! Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, sweet. Well, boom, we did it. Let's save, we got him, we won. I got the high end Yaku. Not Jet Mouth. Dash button while jumping. Maybe executed in air. Okay, sweet. Alright, well I'm gonna save. We're gonna call this a day here though. But, you guys, I wanna let you guys know. It was super awesome being here today. Let's save. Um, I think I'll be continuing this tomorrow. For sure. It'll be cool. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll host up a cool, cool guy, cool friend of mine. Um. <laughs>